Good morning. Good morning, Libra. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? I'm divinely destined. I pray that you guys are having a good day, a good month. This is Wednesday. You may see this reading Thursday. Whenever you see this, whenever you stumble across this message is actually when you're supposed to see it. Remember, Libras, these are going to be general messages. They may or may not resonate. Okay, take it how it resonates. I've missed you guys immensely. I have not not been working. I've actually been building another channel. It's called Guided by Destiny. Libra, if you got some time today, go subscribe to that channel. I welcome you guys over there as well. If you are new to the channel, don't forget, like this video, subscribe. Subscribe. It's free. Okay. Share this content. It helps this channel grow. And it also helps any channel grow when you subscribe and share their content. Libra, I pray that you guys are okay. I've missed you. But I've once again have been working. And I believe I have a few Libra readings on my other channel. Yes, I have a few readings. If you guys want an email reading, a personal reading with me, email me. I am available. If you got some concerns, suggestions, what kind of readings you like, what kind of things that you would like to see on the channel, email me. I am available for consultation and just a listening ear. If you want to become a member of this channel, you now have that option. Mr. or Mrs. Libra, just simply hit that join button on the channel and you're in the door. I welcome you all with love. Okay, I'm definitely hearing the name John. You may be a Libra that likes to wear Old Navy, but I'm also hearing like Gucci, okay, Versace. Your home is very nice, okay? You, you, you have a decorating ability like no other Libra. That's very, very noted here. I'm also being told to let you know, be careful of delays, distractions, sidetracks at this time. Stay on course because any delays, blockages, or changes that are unnecessary in your life right now, is only gonna bring unexpected trouble, shock, okay? It's only gonna bring the tower down on you. So be careful of letting yourself become sidetracked or delayed by unnecessary distractions or any distractions at this time because it may bring unexpected shock or trouble your way. Also be advised that you may you may have um, been sidetracking, breaking up with someone. You may have been delayed or you know distracted or putting, breaking off breaking up with someone off or leaving a job or changing locations or breaking a friendship off okay you've been you've been putting that off okay you've been sidetracked from handling that and you're yeah your spirit your spiritual team certainly wants you to know libra like if you continue to sidetrack that thing that you know that needs to be you know finalized there's going to be a tower that's going to hit that's going to ultimately cause this door to close yeah you may be from mccoon georgia i'm here in macon georgia yeah, your name may be David. Yes, you may also be a bank manager, Libra, or you may work for a banking institution. I'm also seeing a Libra that's into the arts. Yeah, yeah I'm, hearing, I'm hearing the movie Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson and Tupac, okay? That may be your favorite movie. Yeah, you may be connected to a Gemini. Libra, yes, you may be connected to a Gemini. Yeah, you may recently have had, had some sort of surgery on your leg. I'm certainly seeing that, Libra. Yeah, you may also be in, in, in recovery from possibly having a flu or flu-like symptoms. Please take care of yourself. Yeah, some of you guys have certainly been putting off going to the doctor, okay? That may be something that may come back to bite you later on if you don't take care of that. Yes, Mrs. Libra, Mr. Libra, I welcome you all to this channel. Once again, hit that notification bell to be alerted to future readings. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages? Can I get some messages for the beautiful sign of Libra? Every time I say Libra, I think of that song, Oh Sheila, okay? Let me love you till the morning comes. Okay, somebody always want to love Libra. I'm telling you. Overall energy, we got deja vu, okay? And I'm also hearing that song, Bunny and Clyde by Beyonce and Jay-Z. Somebody is having a deja vu moment today. Wow. Perhaps you drove, okay, you was at a red light. You saw a black cat and five seconds later, you know, you turn at another light and you see that same black cat. Okay, that's like deja vu right there. That's a form of deja vu. We got heart, heart fog, okay? Yeah, you may certainly be experiencing some heart palpitations. Some of you guys may be going through some spiritual ascensions. Some of you guys are just reminiscing on the love that you had with someone. Or you have some mixed feelings about some relationship that you've had. 
Yeah, some of you guys are definitely having some karmic partners or you may be experiencing some karmic lessons here. You may be in a karmic cycle with someone. And once again, as I spoke about opening the reading, if you continue, if you continue to delay this thing, put it off, put off something that you know, okay? It needs to be finalized or end or closed out in your life. Ultimately, the tower is going to hit. It's going to hit and the door is going to be shut. Remember, karmic lessons are that, okay? Just take it literally. It's a karmic lesson. Karmic relationships and cycles and situations are temporarily. They have a end date, okay? Just like it starts, there's a date to end these karmic situations. Libra, you may have some mixed feelings about it. Your emotions may be all over the place. Okay, this is a karmic cycle that ultimately, you know what? It will come to an end eventually. I'm hearing sooner than later. But I'm also hearing why put off tomorrow what you can do today. Okay, perhaps you've gotten the clarity. Perhaps this reading is going to give you the clarity to let you know that, yeah, if you continue to linger in something that is just not beneficial or unhealthy, eventually the tower will hit and it's going to be forced closed. Okay, Libra. Can I get more messages for the beautiful sign of Libra? Yep, perhaps you've gotten the clarity. You know the truth of the matter. You took you took the rose-colored glasses off. I'm sorry it's dark in the reading, Libra. Okay, you've taken the, the rose-colored glasses off. You see this situation for what it is. Or you know what? It's about time you do. This is a karmic situation. Now, karmic situation could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be a friendship. Whatever this thing is, it may have been causing you a lot of confusion or it may currently be causing you confusion okay it may be causing you a lot of confusion but with clarity here you may have already gotten the clarity now you may have already been in a state of confusion okay yep i feel like you may have been connected to someone or you are connected to someone this person gave gave you a lot of mixed signals they were hot and cold with you okay one one day you will hear from them you may not you know the next two three days you don't know where they at they're not answering their phone yeah, it's called, this was a puzzle. This was unsettled for you. The energies were very unclear between you and this individual. This was a karmic cycle, a karmic lesson, okay? What did you learn from it? What are you learning from it? A lot of you guys have gotten honest with yourself. You know the truth. A lot of you guys are still in a state in the energy of being confused about it. Yeah, this person may be a Cancerian. Yeah, you may live in Philadelphia. You may like to travel a lot, Libra, okay? I'm hearing something about Longhorn Steakhouse, but I'm also hearing Ironhorn, okay? I don't know if you ever saw that movie with Jim Carrey, okay? I believe it's called Ace Venture, Pet, De Pet Detective, okay? There's something about Long Ironhorn, Ironhorn here, okay? That may be your favorite movie, Ace Venture, Pet Detective. We got distance, okay? You and this person, there's some sort of distance. There is some sort of distance between you, okay? The signals are crossed, <laughs> This is a very, this is a very confusing pub, um, I'm hearing public, publicized situation. So this, this situation may be very known to the public. Perhaps you had some sort of disagreement and it became public. You guys made social media in some way, or possibly you both are just known in the public eye or on social media. One or both of you are very known. Okay. Wow. Despair. We got despair, confusion, distance. Some Libras may be falling apart. You know, the outside, you may not be showing it, but on the inside, you may be falling apart. You feel hopeless. You got that sick-ass feeling to your stomach like, damn, I thought this was someone I could go the distance with, but I see this is just nothing but confusion. I don't have any clarity in this situation. I don't have any honesty from this person. There is some sort of distance between us. There is some sort of distance between us that's separating us okay this may be emotional distance you may travel a lot libra you may have traveled a lot to see this person they may have now remember take this how it resonates this may not be your energy this may be how they feel towards you they feel confused they feel despair they feel at a distance from you they feel like you're giving them mixed signals they feel like they they know you from a past life they feel like they're tired of repeating the same cycles over and over and over with you they're feeling hopeless, okay? They need some clarity, or they've gotten the clarity that this cycle with you has simply has to come to a close. Always take the reading how it resonates. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up on a Libra that likes to go to the spa. 
We got exhausted, okay? This situation has exhausted you. It's been a long journey. I'm hearing, I'm hearing you just, I'm definitely hearing the Libra say, you know what? I'm just tired of hoping and wishing and praying that, you know what, this thing get better, okay? We got tension. You, you're just tired of hoping and wishing and praying that it get better. There's a lot of tension here. Wow, you may feel a, you, you may feel fatigued with this thing. There may be a lot of stress, arguments. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up on the energy of a Libra that loves to travel to the beach. You like to go to different state fairs. You may be someone that likes to watch hot air balloons, or you may have even been in a hot air balloon, balloon before. Yeah, there's something significant about the moon here. Yeah, I feel like on the next full moon, that should be very vital for you to do any moon work manifest manifestation that's going to bring in positive energies, okay, positive new beginnings, or even clarity. Do your moon do your moon work on the next full moon. This could also indicate by the next full moon, this thing is going to be, you know, brought to a head. The situation is going to be brought to a head, okay. So you may want to go research when the next full moon is, Libra. There's something significant about the galaxies and the stars here. You may be an astrologer, okay? I'm definitely hearing the word Australia. Yeah. I'm hearing you may be from Arizona. Arizona as well. On a good hot day in Arizona, it's always good to try to get to the beach. If you can, or anywhere in some nice cool water to relieve some of that stress and tension off you. Yeah, you may be going through a lot of turbulent times with this connection. Remember, if this is not about a connection coming to an end, Libra, or... You feel it needs to come to an end. This could just be you. It just could be other things going on in your life. Other things going on in your life, Libra. You just feel, you just may have a sinking, hopeless feeling that, you know, everything is falling apart around you. But you're, you know, you've gotten the clarity or you need some clarity. You need someone to talk to. You need someone that can fully understand you and listen to you about your problems and your situations. You may just be exhausted at this time in your life. You just got a lot of tension on your back and your shoulders. You need someone to rub and massage your shoulders and your back. A lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Remember, once again, Libra, take the reading how it resonates. If this is not your energy, this is someone you're connected to. Okay. Sidetrack. There, there is that card. There is that card. Yep. <clears throat> For some of you, point blank, period. You know in your heart and soul that... If you continue to delay this thing, it's only going to bring you more confusion. It's only going to bring you despair. It's only going to keep you in a state of being tense. It's only going to keep you exhausted. If you continue to delay it, if you continue to put the inevitable off, these things will continue to happen. Okay? Yeah. I feel like this connection, this karmic cycle has been nothing but delays, distractions, and a lot of unnecessary changes for you. It's just taking you on roads and paths, different roads and paths that you didn't even need to be on. It just created tension and stress that didn't even need to be on you. Anytime you're in a connection like that or you, you're, you're connected to someone like that or even thinking about being in a relationship, relationship with something like that, you should know right off the bat <clears throat> that this is not right for you. Okay? Yep. I'm hearing that real love. I'm searching for a real love. Okay, we got one day. One day, you're hoping that one day you'll get the clarity. One day, you'll get a sign from the universe that this thing is going to happen. Well, today is the day that you get the clarity that, honestly, honey, this is just a karmic cycle. This is just a karmic cycle that will come to a close sooner or later. Sooner or later. Drifting. If, it, if, it's, not, if it's not closing yet, slowly but surely... You two will just slowly drift further and further and further apart. You will slowly disconnect. You guys will continue to slowly detach from one another. The relationship will continue to fall apart. The feelings of hopelessness will dig deeper into your subconscious and your, you know, I'm hearing the undercurrents of the human soul, okay? If you continue to put this thing off, you just will continue to drift further and further and further, further apart. You're going to be continuously plagued with stress, turbulence, depletion, fatigue. Okay, you're going to continue to be struggling with these mixed signals from this individual. This is just a puzzle that just does not seem to ever be solved. Your name may be Glenn. Yeah, you may be a supervisor, Glenn. Glenn. You're, you also, your name may be Marilyn. Marilyn, you may like to ice skate. 
I also see the name Robert. Okay, Robert is certainly coming up here. You may have long shoulder length blonde hair. You may also have shoulder length black hair. Yeah, your favorite. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing her name, Ta Tanya Harding. Okay, she. I believe she was a figure skater. That may be significant for you. Jack Wagner, he may be your favorite actor. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm hearing Felicity Lockhart. That may be significant. Yes, and your initials may be Ray J. And your name also may be John. Yes, don't let this despair and this distance and this confusion and this tension and this exhaustion keep you in the energy of being sidetracked. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Inevitably, the tower is going to come. It's going to hit. Okay, look, you're just saying, closing out your reading, you're better off. Don't put yourself in these energies, okay? You're better off. You're better off, Libra. Moving forward, close this thing out. Yeah, there's going to be better days for you ahead. May I get some final messages for the beautiful sign of Libra? Final messages for the beautiful sign of Libra. You got angel number 17, Libra. The quality of your work, the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it is unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, okay? You're very capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Okay, remember that, Libra. Don't let this situation throw you off track to the point where you forget how independent and fierce you are. Your skills and your talents are still needed. Your independence is noted here. You're very ambitious, very capable. Don't let this thing continue to keep you sidetracked. We got angel number 16, angel number 17. Okay, you have an inquisitive mind, Libra, that allows you to uncover important truths. Okay, you have a very inquisitive mind that helps you, okay, uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. Now, that's a wisdom, a wisdom seeker. And your angels, okay, now not only is that a wisdom, Libra, your angels are certainly asking you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I see angel number 1717. 17. Other people need your wisdom. Other people need your guidance. Yes. Wow. I'm definitely hearing that some of you guys are social workers. Angel number 555. Five, five. Angel number 555 five, five represents change. This situation is changing. It's taking you through a lot of changes. A major shift is about to come into your life. You know, and it's going to change your direction. Be open and stay positive. Whether you want to believe it or not, Libra, this door is shutting. Okay, the door is shutting. One way or the other, a major shift is happening. It's coming. We got angel number one, okay? I'm here. I'm your number one fan. Misery may be your favorite movie. Okay, your angels want you to know you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunities. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through the rough times and reach success. Don't forget it, Libra, you're very innovative. You are a self-starter with a very innovate, innovative way of thinking. You're very creative. And your creativity and your determination and your endurance are powerful. You know what, and that's gonna help you get through these rough patches. I love you, have a great day.